Redfield? Is that you? If I catch you parading around in my cape again, there'll be trouble. Well, I wonder where he can be hiding. Wrong, you fool! Get off! Is it another one of your nightmares? What? What would be ridiculous? Count Dracula does not have nightmares. Was it the one where Magda gets staked and a hideous evil ghost comes back to haunt you? <clears throat> Mention that again, and I will remove your privileges. I don't have any privileges. Well, then I shall find something else to remove. <laughs> I'm telling you, Vlad, tonight will go down in history as the greatest Halloween ever. Yeah, about that. A spooky old castle, a family of real vampires. I mean, what more could we ask for? But you've got some really scary stuff planned, right? Well, actually... I admit, I've pulled some legendary Halloween stunts before. But me and you together, think of the mayhem we could cause. I'm sorry, Robin. I'm going to the school party. What? Everyone else is going. We're not everyone else, Vlad. We're different. People may think we're freaks, but tonight we're not. And Halloween we rule! But I don't want to rule, I want to fit in! So I thought maybe we could stay in tonight, cook some food, watch some telly. Dad? Hmm? Whatever you think. Just can't shake this feeling that I've forgotten something. Don't know why. Nothing special about tonight. Hold still, it keeps on tearing off. This is oh. stupid. I don't want to go dressed as a loo roll. You're supposed to be a mummy. Got it. Why don't you go as a vampire? What was I thinking? Where would you get a vampire costume at this hour? And on Halloween. Oh, is it Halloween? Shh. I don't want Dad to know. Why not? Halloween effects, Dad, like a lit match in a firework factory. Even a sausage through the heart wouldn't subdue him. You mean a steak? Oh, yes. You see, the Count has banned me from using that word. That word and bun fight. Sunlight. Mm-hmm. Bun fight and sausage. Great! We can't even talk about it. This is the worst Halloween ever. Look, Dad's got a whole trunk full of old clothes stashed up in the attic. I bet we could find some great scary outfits for the party. Better than this, anyway. Real vampire clothes? Are they black? Oh, wow! Spooky! Exactly. It's weird and very dangerous. So don't touch anything. There aren't any spiders, are there? Probably. Why? Um, just asking, because Robin's terrified of them. Aren't you, Robin? Robin? Robin! <laughs> Whoa! Idiot! This attic's awesome. Wow. What's this? I don't know and I don't want to know. Put it back. Hieroglyphics! Chloe, I don't think a ten-year-old girl can translate complex Egyptian hieroglyphics. Danger. Do not open. Run. Hide. I told you not to touch anything. Oh, chill out, will you? It's just a biscuit here. What's the worst I can have? That. I told you not to open it. Now look what you've done. What does it say? Have you on a holiday? No, Robin. We've awoken an ancient curse. All day I've sensed impending evil. And now I can smell it. It's probably those eggs. Hmm, perhaps. What's the date? The, um, the Friday. No, oh, Jonathan, the date. Oh. It's, uh, the 
the, um... Well? Get back, bloodsuckers! Don't force me to use this. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> no! <laughs> I thought that they were... <laughs> Nothing. Come away from there, children. That man's not very well. Trick or treat, of course. You know what this means, Jonathan. Only five days till bonfire night. It's Halloween. A terrible curse on you and your family, foul fiends. From midnight to night, you will be stripped of your evil powers and reduced to the status of mere mortal breathers. Ha ha. Oh, great. How am I going to explain this? Sorry, Dad, but we've accidentally awoken an ancient curse and we're all going to be turned into normal living. Hang on. Normal? Robin, you're a genius! I am. Don't you know what this means? I'm going to have a normal family. We can go on camping trips together. <sighs> Barbecues in the summer. Family bike rides! But think of what you're going to lose. What, fangs and a dad who turns into a bat? Who's going to miss that? Me. Oh. Oh? What do you mean, oh? Come here. If three screams are heard from your family after sunset tonight, you'll be freed from the curse. But I don't want to be freed. I like the curse. The pyramid will turn with each scream. If it gets to three, that's it. Game over. But like that's going to happen. Vampires aren't scared of anything. Ah! How much? You do that in an hour, and you're in big trouble. Great. My only chance to be normal, and I've got to stop people screaming. At Halloween! At least your dad doesn't know it's Halloween. He did the monster. He did the monster, man. Oh, no! Oh, wicked! I think he remembered. Ah, Vlad! There you are! Renfield, take a break. Oh. Thank you, Master. Well, that's long enough. Back to work. What's going on? It's Christmas. What does it look like? Oh, can't you feel the pride stirring in your chest? Tonight, we celebrate our vampire heritage. Hundreds of years of history and culture. <laughs> I had no idea you breathers could be so tasteful. Good. You have fun tonight. Unfortunately, we've got other plans. Nothing that can't easily be dropped. Splendid! The bloodletting, uh, the fun, begins at six when the sun has set. Should be a scream. I saw fangs and a cape. It was an easy mistake to make. Dad, you nearly whisked an eight-year-old. I was acting on instinct, son. As a vampire slayer, I've developed finely tuned senses. Uh, Dad. Heightened awareness that warns me when trouble has brought. Dad. And at Halloween, it's at its strongest. Almost like a, a sixth sense. Dad, your trousers are on fire. Ah! Ah! Well spotted, son. That's it. You're definitely staying in tonight. Dad? Not now, Ingrid. Can't you see I'm engaged in heavy manual labour? Uh, two inches lower, Renfield! I need a costume for the school party. Why? What happened to that dress thing? Ruined. I found it in Renfield's wardrobe with all the stitching burst. Hmm. Well, there's a simple solution to this. You'll have to get a job. Me? Work? It'll do you good to get out of the castle. You could be someone else's problem. Why can't Vlad get a job? Because he has one already. Heir to my throne. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, dear. Well, that's a day's wages you owe me. Huh? And you can forget about going to any parties until I get it. The night starts here. The sexual hours are a little bit over. I better go home and let Mum and Dad know what we're doing. Then we can figure out how to make your dad scream. You mean stop him scream? That's what I said, wasn't it? Voltan, I need your advice. I've got this problem. Bathe it in warm water and keep it bandaged overnight. That works for me. N no, it's... Should you do what's best for yourself? What's best for your friends? Ah, most would say you should put the well-being of others before your own. Look at me. I've never been selfish. And now... I'm stuffed, ignored... Mounted on wheels. <sighs> Thanks, old man. Glad to be of assistance. One more thing. Hmm? Do you know if the Count's scared of anything? Something that might make him scream? Well, only golf balls. Golf balls? Of course. Well, he is a vampire. There's no point in trick-or-treating if you haven't got any really good tricks. Like what? Well, fortunately, you've come to the right person. Right! Let the evil games commence! Dad, just in time. You can make a start on the sky. What is the meaning of this? This is not scary Halloween fun. It is scary. What if we got to the end and found there was a piece missing? No, Dad. I want to play games that chill to the very core of a man's being. Charades? I'm not happy about leaving you on your own tonight. You know how you get at Halloween? I'm going to Vlad's. Anyway, you can trust me. Hmm. That's what you said last year. We still haven't finished replastering. That wasn't my fault. Pumpkins aren't supposed to explode. And the year before? Like the doctor said, the broomstick was an accident waiting to happen. Your father and I have looked forward to this slide evening for weeks. I don't want it ruined by more of your silly Halloween antics. <laughs> you little monsters! I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over them. You apologize. It was him! He told us to do it! Right, I've just called the agency. The babysitter will be here soon. You have to do what she tells you. You behave yourself. Understand? Oh, you can't do this to me. If you behave like a child, Robin, then you get treated like one. I've got to go back to Vlad's. It's a matter of life and death. Oh, you should have thought of that before you started stirring up trouble. Sorry we can't stay and change your nappies, Robin. We've got a Halloween party to go to. Shut it, Tweedle Dummies. Shh, not another word. You two let the babysitter in and pay her. We'll pick Chloe up on the way home. And when we get back, I want to see this house exactly as we left it. No tomfoolery. And no shenanigans. And no hijinks of any sort. What was that? Me putting the cup down. This time, John, over the next, it could be a vampire breaking in, trying to suck our blood. We've got to stop them. Why don't you leave, then, and come watch some TV? And now it's time to hide behind your sofas as we kick off our Halloween vampire movie night with the 1931 classic. These strong winds, it's best to give your young trees some support by taking a big wooden stake and hammering it into the soil. It's a bit stiff. The female 
female mosquito possesses a highly serrated proboscis which he uses to pierce the skin of humans and drain them of their blood. So I got this babysitting job. And guess who my first baby is? Robin's not in his room and his window's open. The little snake must have done a run there. You've let him escape. You fools. Oh well, that's his funeral. Come on, Ingrid, let's go party. Nobody move! I need money. And that means somebody is going to get babysat. If there's no one else around, it'll have to be you two. <laughs> You're joking. Prop forwards do not get babysat. Sit! How's it going? Anyone screamed yet? No, thank goodness. Yeah. Well, oh. now that we're all assembled, we should play a proper Halloween game. Apple bobbing. Oh, great. Sounds harmless. Instead of apples, we should be bobbing for giant fish eyes. <coughs> oh, that's that. This one's staring at me. Redfield! Out now. And then, from the window behind them, they heard the tap, tap, tap noise. So, if you ever hear that sound, and you want to keep your head attached to your neck, then you'd better run. Run as fast as you... Huh? What was that? <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> We had you shaking like a little girl. Ian, you can let go of my hand now. I'm bored. I mean, can't someone liven things up a bit? Stokey Halloween tradition. The throwing of a golf ball ceremony. Hmm. Splendid. Ah, yes. I thought you said golf balls made him scream. Ah, uh, yes. But what I actually meant was G A R L I C. Garlic. It's forbidden you from saying that. Mm -hmm. Sausages, bun fight, and golf balls. I think I might take the dog for a walk. Okay. What are you doing? Give me that key. No, it's for your own good. What about those poor innocent people out there? Their lives are in mortal danger. Not why you're in here, they're not. So, how do you play vampires and peasants again? Right. Well, the peasants must hide around the castle, and then the vampires, well, they find and bite them. What a surprise. I'm in. Who wants to be on my team? Okay. Chloe, but to make it fair, the first time, we should be the vampires, and you and your dad can go and hide. Oh, right, yeah. Sounds good. I'm in. Well, no, that's not how it works. Come on, Dad. We can work up an appetite. One, two, three, four... Right, right. Five, six, seven, eight... Well, go on, then. 
Aren't you going to hide? Are you kidding? This should kill an hour or two. Truth or dare? Truth. Chicken. Okay. Who's the most popular, stylish and beautiful girl in school? Okay, we've decided. This is going so well. I think I can feel a pulse already. Great. What? But no one screamed. Only joking. You should have seen your face. <laughs> Do you know what happens to dogs who misbehave? Oh, get off. We won't pay you. You've got the money? Yeah, in the kitchen. Mum gave it to us. Then why are we sitting around here? Let's go to the party. But you need a costume. It's fancy dress. Really? You mean that's not your real fur? Borrow something of Mum's. She's got some pretty horrifying outfits. It's okay, it's only one scream, but it's not even nine o'clock yet. Where's Robin? He left while you were lying on the floor in the fetal position, Master Vlad. I think he's gone to give your father another golf ball. Golf ball? What are you talking about? <sighs> well, there was a bit of a misunderstanding. Master Robin wanted to know if there was anything that would make the Count scream. And so, naturally, the first thing I thought of was golf balls. Oh, garlic! Of course, I didn't actually mean golf balls. Well, that would be ridiculous. Just like I didn't actually mean sausages. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I know you're in here. Caught you. Traitor. Vlad, I, I was just looking for, for the bathroom. Nope, not in here. Where did that come from? Some friend you are. I'm just trying to do what any friend would. Save you from a life of terminal boredom. No, you're not. You're just thinking about yourself. Someone has to. You're the only person that doesn't think I'm a freak, Vlad. No one else even talks to me. And if you become normal, you won't either. You'll be too busy going on stupid camping trips and bike rides. And I'll just be on my own. Again. Let's get rid of this before Dad sees it. If there's one thing that's gonna make him scream, it's garlic. Who's that? And I just... Yeah. Oh, come on, Dad, you've been in there for ages. You're too late! Oh, I'm sorry, I heard you scream and I panicked. Scream? Me? Count Dracula does not scream. Oh, well, you do when you have that nightmare, Master. Shut up, Renfield. What nightmare? Oh, it's terrible. It starts off with your mother being stanked. Right. Who's for a brisk night walk? And then a ghost comes back to haunt him. A, a hideous vision of the bride of Dracula when she pulls back her veil. Her eyes are cold and dead. Her skin pale. She raises her terrifying claws, her breath rents it. 
blood drips from her mouth. And then... She launches it, Isaac! And that's about the point he screams and wakes up. Dad, I've got your money. I'm going to the party. What? Oh, just leave it in my study. What, what, what? Thanks, Robin. Only an hour till midnight. This might be the last time I see you as a vampire. Well, we'll still be friends, even if I'm normal. Of course. I mean, I probably won't come over to see you as often. Shove off. Wait. Yeah, you can have this. I guess I won't be needing it anymore. Thanks. Look out! He's got a sausage! To that then. Sorry, Vlad. You better get home. What are you doing here? We told you to stay at home. What have you done to your hand? I knew you couldn't be trusted. Expect to be grounded for the rest of your life, young man. See you tomorrow. Bye, Vlad. Wait. You're still gonna need this. For now. Mm -hmm.